You may have seen the numbers on the end of a runway and wondered what those represent. Every public use airport will have numbers on each end of the runway, and it's based on its direction from north in a clockwise direction, which is also known as an azimuth. So we'll look at this runway in particular. We'll start at one end of the runway, so an aircraft that's landing or taking off in this direction will be based on its angle from north. This is a 30 degree angle. The other side of the runway will similarly be the angle from north in the clockwise direction and it will be 210 degrees. We know that with any straight line these angles will vary by 180 degrees so there will always be a difference of 180 degrees in these angles. For actually labeling the runway we round to the nearest 10 degrees so actually the number we'll see on the runway is the number 3 again representing 30 degrees difference from north and of course the other end of the runway will be 21 so this will be known as runway 21 and representing its direction from north 210 degrees from north in the clockwise direction. Another example looking at an airport with multiple parallel runways we have a similar process where we starting with this runway we have runway 5R meaning it's 50 degrees from north and it's to the right of the other runway so the runway to the left is runway 5L or 5 left again to the left of the other parallel runway from the other direction we know it's going to vary by 180 degrees so it's 230 degrees from the other direction on the other direction from north so we'll have runway 23L so 23 left and runway 23 R or 23 right 23 right so this is how the numbers are used to designate runways and what they mean